Patience. And with that said, we will move along here to our, uh, our, our unfinished business. And we, believe it or not, don't have any this evening. Um, <laughs> we'll get to the reports action items. And that is Mr. Mich or, uh, Mr. Prano with the Lake Quality Committee. And I'm certain he'll make this quick tonight so that we can get out of here early. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, I emailed everybody a copy of the Lake Vegetation Management Plan. Uh, as I mentioned in the email, some things were changed, but it was only by definition of words and, and a, a few things here and there. None of the substance has been changed since two months ago when we first addressed it. George finally uh, downloaded it and read it. <laughs> Some, somebody showed him how to do that, I think. Uh, are there any questions, or do you want me to explain anything anymore on this? Uh, we can ask for approval. No, I have no questions. Is anybody else on the board? George? I thought it was very well done. Thank you. I was impressed. Thank Kevin, too, because he worked really hard on it. Good job. I think you and your group uh, did a fine job. Anybody in the public who's not familiar with it, it's on our website. If you can't find it on our website, just call the district. We'll mail you a copy of how we plan to treat weeds in the future, and it's a DNR requirement. And thank you. I therefore, I'd like to make a motion that we adopt the uh, Lake Vegetation Management Plan. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And the motion passes. Thank you. Anything else, Mr. Brown, this evening? No. We'll move along to the Lake Utilization Committee. Mr. Mishad. Mr. Chair, members, um, we have one item this evening, and that is the approval of the Birchwood um, docks. City Docks. And we have reviewed those. Uh, the Lake Utilization Committee has reviews the, reviewed those applications and would like to move approval for the Ash, Birch, Elm, Delwood, and Kay Beaches. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Public comment. Uh, public comment, please. If you, you would, Mr. Repeat what you Goya. say at the committee meeting? <laughs> Any discussion? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we'll get it moved back after the Thanks. meeting. Thanks. Um, I just have a comment on the uh, Birch Beach, which was uh, brought up at the um, uh, committee meeting, but some of the board members were not there. Um, in your packet, uh, there is uh, a, a diagram uh, for Birch Beach which shows 160 <clears throat> feet, which is not correct for the length of the dock, and it's actually 116 feet. And <clears throat> I, I asked the, the um, committee members um, just to rip out that uh, section of, of the of your packet, and I'd also ask, yeah, and I'd also ask the regular board members to also uh, do that too, so that there's no no confusion as to what it is that you're actually uh, voting on. You're voting on for uh, Birch Beach. You're voting on a 116 foot dock with eight boats, and not a 160 foot uh, long dock. Thank you. Right, thank you for bringing that to our attention, Mr. Glee. I think if you look in your packet. There's two uh, diagrams. The first one is correct. The second one is incorrect. That's the 160. So that the reason the confusion is that. But it, it will be documented in our okay. minutes, correct. Okay. And, it, and as long as that's in our, in our minutes, I think we'll be fine with that. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. And the motion passes. Thank you. Any further? Uh, Mr. Chair, that's it from the LUC, unless anybody has any questions. Any questions? Thank you. And we'll move along to the Lake Education Committee. Yale, do you have anything for us this evening? Uh, the grant application for the boat inspections was submitted. I have not heard anything back. And we're kind of taking it uh, a day by day on the lake cleanup, depending upon the safety of the ice. That's it. All right, and thank you. And we can move along to our treasurer's report. <coughs> Longville. Um, Treasurer's report for <coughs> February 2012. I'd like to make a motion to accept checks 4089 through 4094. Second it. All right. Is there any discussion in regards to this? All those in favor? 
Aye. 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 Opposed? And the motion carries. Thank you. All right, and do you have anything else for us? Um, I have in your packet. There's the um, financial report for the year end. And if there aren't any questions, um, I'd like to make a motion to accept this year end report. For December for the year of 2012 11 are there any questions in regards to this through the board members all right do we have a second I, I do have a question okay. Mr. Um, is the surplus um, some of the money that was contributed for the the uh, study or there isn't is that in here is that I don't know. I just look. I see we have a, we have about eleven thousand uh, dollar. Eleven thousand uh, dollar natural. I don't know. The surplus. No, <coughs> the. I just I was just looking at the year to date actual. Yeah. It was ninety seven thousand some dollars, and the year to date budget was eighty five thousand. And so we had eleven thousand dollar from their twelve thousand dollar variance. Um, so he's looking on page two. Wow. Yeah, I just yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how we ended up, period. I'm a little confused here, I think. Year to date actual income. I was looking at expenses. Yeah, expenses. Expenses were more than we budgeted. The revenue was was uh, more than we budgeted. So the surplus on the rev revenue is forty five thousand dollars. So I'm I'm wondering if were that I didn't go through the report because it was just here and I have time. Yeah. So is that it was in your package. Is that <laughs> including the uh, Yes. That would include um the surplus includes a little <coughs> bit from the study, not very much, but we also had because of oh we didn't spread as much milk oil. We didn't spend as much because of the shutdown. Okay, right. We there also was had yeah, six or eight thousand dollars I think left over from last year with the Eurasian Water Milk Oil study. Well, s some of it was homeowners. Well, I'm talking about the homeowners expense oh. money. Yeah, and that and we they took for the uh, diverted that to the study. To the study, that's correct. Spent right. that for the study already. I, I guess I have to take the time to look at it. I didn't have a chance to look at it. Just wondering how we ended up with the. Uh, the and also um, the audit, um, they did not bill us in a timely manner like yeah. they were asked to do. And so they um, were paid in February of this month of this year. So that's another amount that was in that overage. Yeah, I can't, yeah, the, I, I see the, you're talking about the study. It's. You had forty-one, forty-one thousand dollars in there for the study, and you spent thirty-nine thousand of it. Right. So, so only a couple not, grand. Only a couple grand there. There's not a whole lot for the U.S. Uh, Geological Survey study. That okay. Was well, I, I'll look at it later and ask. Okay. All right. We have a. There's no push. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. The motion carries. And with that, we'll move along to our board council report with our attorney, Mr. Alan Cantrude. Council. Board, thank you, Chair. Thank nice you for joining us up here at the bench. Yeah, it's very special. <laughs> it's a new view. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> no worries. I didn't even get a name bad. So just here anonymously. Entertain oh. the press. Go ahead. I'm not cute enough to be a Sioux, so I turned it around. <laughs> In any event, uh, a nice uh, quiet month as far as prosecutions on the lake go. Uh, no one went through that I saw in court, uh, you know, for any reason. So I don't have anything. I'd stand for questions. Any questions for I'd like to thank you, Mr. Cantrude. You're welcome. Is there, I have one question. Oh, and Diane has a question for you. Is there, do you have any contact with, if somebody goes in the lake with their car, is there any 
Is there any law that's broken when that happens? I think I heard it just coincidentally the door opened. I think the question was would I have any jurisdiction or any um, say if a vehicle went into the water? Right. Um, if it was deemed by the sheriff's department or whatever the law enforcement agency that responded, in this case it'd be either Washington County, Ramsey County, or White Bear Police, for example. If they showed up and decided that it, there was some red neckery going on and it was someone who was really fooling around that shouldn't be, an appropriate uh, consequence could be, say, a public nuisance, which is a criminal a misdemeanor violation, careless driving, reckless driving, things of that nature. If those had been charged, they would have come through the court system and I would have gotten them. So if there was some damage um, to the lake or something like that, it could have been a criminal damage to property. Like if someone had gone in and taken out some of the docks that remain in the water, things like that, um, those would get charged criminally as well. But um, so far, and we know who we're talking about, uh, I haven't seen any charges emanating from any of the vehicles or devices that have gone into the lake, no. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mr. Cantry. I don't know what happened there. Really? Um, we'll move along here. Thank you for your report. I appreciate that, Mr. Mr. Cantry. And I did add in. Do we have to... Um, Accept the f uh, the audit report, or I don't see it on the agenda, so maybe it's. <clears throat> I see we have something in our packet. Oh, I yeah, I did receive that. You wanna um, look at it? For it's really an FYI. Yeah, put it on the agenda the next. I, I think we should table this till the next meeting. We'll we'll look at our audit report on the next meeting. Sure. Or at least put it on the agenda. And just as a point of order, I mean, you'd be doing it as a formality. You don't. It is what it is. It stands as a document for for essentially your own edification. It's not something you really have to accept. Okay. If you rejected it, for example, what would that get you? Not much. Not much. But so, I mean, I it's, it's, not, it's not an official action that you have to take. Then we don't have to That's what I asked. motion or anything of this of that sort. Okay, thank you. Then we'll remove that from the next meeting. Um, I did add a, oh, go ahead, Ms. Longo. Sorry. Um, when you are looking at it, um, there was only one thing um, that they wrote in the report, and that is because we are such a small board, um, they just wanted to have some separation of power a little bit more of oversight. So they just asked that one of us, Julie and I, um, open up the statement for the bank and then one of us sign the checks. And because I kind of, they said you kind of needed to do something, so I suggested that, and they said that's that's a good separation. So that's what we've been doing since um, they recommended that. So when you see that in the packet, um, that is what we are doing. So we're following the recommendation. Yes. So that, I just wanted you to know that. That's good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. That's easy enough. Okay. And I did add item 8E1. I, I would like to first of all welcome, we do have a new director from Birchwood and her name is Jane Harper. She is ill this evening, so we should have her aboard next weekend and I would like you all to welcome her. Um, with that said, we do have one other thing that we need to go over here this evening and that is the nomination for officers. Um, I'll leave this open to the board at this time and we could start with, uh, with our treasurer and I would like to, <laughs> if I may, nominate Ms. Longville for treasurer. Second. And all those in favor? Well, do we have to make a motion on this? We don't have no. to make a motion on this. We vote on it next month, correct? Right. Unless it's declined. All right. And then uh, w would you accept that nominee? Thank you. And I will leave the rest of it up to the board <laughs> to nominate our, we do have to nominate the chair and the vice chair. I nominate Mike again for the chair. I'll put his name on. And I would appreciate that. Second. <laughs> And, and I'm certain beyond a doubt Mr. Peranto would like to nominate our vice chair. I would like to nominate Mr. Michaud as vice chair again. Second. Thank you. And, and with that in thought, uh, we can move forward. And, and is there any other nominations? All right. And thank you for your time. And we will consider that and we will make a vote on it, a hand vote on our next meeting. And we do have our consent agenda. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. And do we have any announcements this evening, Julie, that you uh, need to go over? The only thing I would add is that it, the summary, the, for the audit, you just received the summary. If anybody wants to see the full document, I have several copies. It's not real thick, but it's rather thick. So if you're interested, just let me know. You can have a full copy of the audit. All right. And, and just because one of the uh, 
people in the audience did inquire, I'll, I'll just mention this, they did inquire about some kind of uh, access to our meeting this evening, and, and I did speak to Julie briefly about it in our intermission break, and, and she did say something about maybe trying to get some copies, so in case people that don't have access to cable television can maybe get some of those copies, and, and we can discuss that after she sees what the, uh, what the expenses will be. Um, anything else, Julie? No. Okay, thank you, and then I would like to uh, make a motion to adjourn. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Second. <laughs> Opposed? <laughs> You'll get me every time, won't you, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice evening. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your time. I appreciate it. <laughs>